Well hello, it is another day, it's Tuesday today and I'm going to spend another 15 minutes decluttering in that cupboard of shame which is in our bathroom downstairs which is zone 3 for me this week in Fly Lady World so let's get to it. So yesterday I did that top shelf, today I want to do these two shelves here and reorganise and do a little bit of decluttering. I've taken the boxes and the things out of those two shelves and I've just set the timer on the oven for 15 minutes so I'm going to get cracking. And the easy one is this box here which is a train tracks toy, you know, things that you build, put together, which Joshua and Hannah occasionally play with but they're also good if younger kids come. But the box it's in doesn't need to be this size. And I have a new place for that to go, so I'll deal with that. That's just to move that into its new place. This is the box where a tablet came in, and there might be instructions in here. Yeah, there's instructions, but I know how we just kept that box just in case there was any problems. We've had the tablet for a little while, so I don't think there's any problems, but I'll ask Hubby if we can get rid of that. So I'll put that there. Then this box here, which I don't know if you can really see in here, but this is all our arts and crafts stuff, which does need to be reorganized. But we have like our paints, our paints, this hasn't actually been opened. So things like that, oh actually, and there's, who knew, we've got a spare set of crayons. So this box will probably need a little bit of a going through, but that box is just going to go back. And maybe, because it's raining today, maybe we can have a look through it today with um, Joshua and Hannah can maybe do some painting or something today, we'll see. So that one is just going to go back as it is. And then also in here is more arts and crafts type stuff, which the children like to play with too. So that will be going back in the box, then we have here hammer beads from Ikea, unfortunately the board that came with this didn't work, it wasn't any good, but I'm hoping that the hammer beads can be used with, they're not actually hammer beads are they because ham is the brand, but you know what I mean, uh, these beads can be used with other boards which a uh, little birdie tells me Hannah might be getting something like that for her birthday. So I want to hold on to them, but I want to be able to put them in with something else in a box. So we'll see how we get on with that. Then in here, do I actually know what's in here? Loom bands. So we've got loom bands there. We've got loom bands here. And we have loom bands here. So that is quite bulky. So we're going to condense that. Again, might be able to do that later on today. Then we have beads for jewellery making. I think this is more beads. Yeah. Beads for jewellery making, can you see in there? They're like wooden plastic beads for making items of jewellery. If I close that right, yep. And then oh, more beads. This hasn't actually been opened. And then in here, I think is my, yeah, little bits and pieces of my jewellery. Oh, if I do that, see there are some pliers and things for jewellery making. So that's the jewellery making box. It's maybe a bigger box than this would be useful so it could fit in better. So we've got that. And then we have a cooler bag, which we've forgotten about because it was hiding at the back. Then we have these paints here, which were for the window decorations at Easter time. And we have brushes that were never cleaned. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brushes that were just pop back. Oh, and bits of Lego. There's Lego always in this house, everywhere. So that's going to go in with arts and crafts and those brushes need to get washed. So, right. Oh, and then up here, we have 
these tins and then this box here and that is my yarn dyeing kit which is one of the things that I'd like to have time for and one of the things that's on the list of things I will do once I get the house organised. But what we do just now is I'm going to put this box back in the cupboard just now because I'm not going through it in these 15 minutes but I'd say we might do it later on today since it's a, a rainy day. Then we have this arts and crafts box and the paints for for the window decorations which I'm going to just pop in that box and put that back the paint brushes just going to put them to one side for them to be washed and put them on the top of that box then we have the loom bands so we've got lots of loom bands. I don't think we've got S clips. I think that's the that's the issue. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these bags actually are still sealed into this box. Okay. And then when we do them bands, we can open them as and when we need them. And that's definitely been. And then left with this box, which do we need the box? Do we need the box? Maybe they should be kept in the box. Mm, but it's bulky. I'll put it back. Oh, can I get it back in? Does it go in a certain way? Oh my goodness. There we go. Make it look harder than it actually was. Because I don't want these to go upstairs into the kids' rooms because then room bands will definitely just be everywhere. And you know it's like they do get everywhere. So ba 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 ba. Yeah, they're going back, aren't they? I'm not getting rid of much today, am I? And then we have the big things which were in this box. So this is in a little flower tray, but it's no good to man or beast. So I'm wondering if do you know what we could be able to just put everything into into this box. because we have more beads so yeah so I'm just going to put everything everything into the one box which I'm really aware you can't see well, there's some you can't see what I'm doing I'm sorry but open it up. stick it in and that's those beads and then So you've got more beads in here. So I'm wondering. So you've got beads in this little case too. I'd like to get them all in that box. I wonder if Hannah would be happy with that or not. I know she'd be fine with this. Actually, she would be fine with these going in here. So I'm just going to put those jump rings in there. For now, oh, come here, and then the rest of the beads in that box. 
and we could easily we could easily get the beads from this heart case that doesn't close properly into actually that fits in that box like that hmm. so there's beads in this box in here then this heart case that doesn't close properly but Hannah loves is just the right size to fit in there with this cover still going around it because Hannah loves that cover so yay so all the beads for Hannah are in this box and then the other beads are in that box so that is that so we've been able to condense there so there's that Then that just leaves the, what have we got? These here, which I'm going to put back temporarily in the cupboard, but hopefully they should be finding a new home soon. Which means, let me show you. This is the bin pile that's packaging. There's this lid, which I don't actually think I mentioned earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. This lid, we have no idea what box it belongs to. And actually, I forgot to go into this bag, which is... Let me see. Ah. These are stones, which Joshua collected when we were visiting Granny and Shinner, which he wants to keep. Oh, and they're heavy. We could decorate them or something. So I'm going to probably have to put them back in the cupboard. I want us to do something with them rather than them just hiding in the cupboard. And here I've got yarn dyeing items which I need to find a space for. These brushes are to be washed to see if they can be saved. But to be honest, if they can't be saved, it's not the end of the world. I mean, look, who knows what's on that. That box, I'm going to move that stuff from there to its new home. We've got this cooler bag which has no home. And it's a good size, but it'd be nice to have it somewhere where we remember it's it's there. So I need to think of a home for that. And then this is the box to ask Hubby if we can bin it. Okay. So this is a state of play just now. That shelf is clear. That shelf up there has the items which we just went through, along with the shelf that I did yesterday. So the timers just went off and I was in the middle of moving the train set into its new home. So I'm going to finish moving all of the items into this box here. These storage tubs we purchased from Ikea a few years ago now, but they fit really well underneath our corner couch. We've got one here and one over there. That one hasn't been decluttered yet. This one has been decluttered. So this box was free. So this will be perfect to put the train set items in here. Then when the kids want to use it, maybe when they're downstairs or when we've got young little guests, then it's pretty easy to get to and it's not stuffed away in that cupboard where no one can get to it because there's piles of stuff. This box here though, it's... I don't know if you can see over there, it's pretty damaged and it's pretty big. So I might ask Hubby if he can make use of it in the shed or in the loft maybe. I don't know, but I think it's just too big for me to use for storage. So this is going into here. I'm just going to pick up the other bits and pieces that's on the bathroom floor. And that's going to be me for my 15 minute declutter for this morning. <laughs> 